Hi, my name is John Joe Elliott. Um, I'm an artist based in Leicester. I work from a studio called Studio Name, which is in the cultural quarter of the city. Um, I've been there for about four years, graduated from DMU 2016, and pretty much moved into the studio straight away and started making work, which um, I started to sell all around the world, which is great. I'm currently represented by two galleries in Los Angeles and a gallery in London. Um, I've had solo shows and exhibitions all around the world. And previous to this, while I was still at DMU, I worked for DMU Local. So through Local and the outreach work they've done, I've worked with um, dementia sufferers, um, hospital patients, um, homeless people, massive, massive range of schools, colleges, uh, I've taught lessons at the university itself, and I run Saturday art clubs every week for kids, and also weekly clubs for adults at different libraries around Leicester. So, DMU Local have asked me to jump on board, while we're all safe at home, to make a series of art club sessions that you guys can have a go at at home. It's basically an idea or a way to get people using their creativity while they're safe at home and start making things. Okay, so for this first session, um, I wanted to start with something that's pretty straightforward, quite simple, a um, bit technical, but we're gonna do, or we're gonna try, we're gonna have a go at a perspective drawing, which is gonna lead us on in the next session to finish it off as a painting. So first of all, we need to make our drawing itself. So I've set up a um, sheet of canvas. Obviously, you can use whatever you've got. You know, I'm lucky enough to have bits around my studio that I can use, but understandably, people that are safe at home at the minute can't get their hands on much stuff. So for this first session, you can use sheet of paper. It doesn't have to be this big. It can be A4. Um, you'll need a ruler, pencil, um, Probably an eraser, I never use erasers, but you can get one if you want. And obviously something to, to actually work on. So if you go and grab that stuff, we'll get cracking straight away. Right, I've got my ruler. I've got a long straight edge, which I can use. Also my pencil, paper is set up, ready to go. So what we're thinking about doing is creating a perspective drawing that we're gonna paint later on, okay? We're going to do a two-point perspective. So we need to basically make a mark on this side of the on this side of the paper, right? And a mark on this side of the paper. So what that is, that's where our lines are going to go to. Okay. So if you just mark those very lightly, but so you can see them, okay. Just put those two bits on there. Now what we want to do is try and get some depth into our picture when it's finished. The way we do that is by using the perspective. Now a perfect example would be a street in New York or a street in London where you can stand with a building straight in front of you and see it go away. If you were doing a one point perspective picture, you would do one point in the middle, okay, and all of your lines would come out from it. So if you imagine you're walking down a street, that would be a one point. We're going to do a building that's going to come out and we're going to use two points, okay? So first of all, we need to do our line down the centre of our canvas, all right? Now, the best way to do it is make your marks quite light, okay? So I think for this, I'm going to jump straight in with a pen simply because I don't think you guys will be able to see it too well on this paper. Just because I'm not in a film studio. I'm actually in my little studio at home. So, you know, we're working with what we've got at the minute, guys, and it's, uh, it's all good. So, our first line will go straight down the middle of the, um, of the paper, okay? Now that, you might be able to see a little bit better. Now don't panic too much if it isn't perfect straight away, right? It's a painting. 
we want to make a work of art. We want to make something that is unique, something that's different. So if you're an architect, you would use perfect lines. You would make it as perfect as you could because you're probably using the measurements. But for this painting, <coughs> we want it to be something that's ours, that we've made. Yeah, so it's your piece of work. So use this as a guideline, but when you develop yourself as an artist, think about which way you can go to make it different to everyone else. So back to our perspective drawing. This is the center of our building, right? So that's the center point. We're walking towards the middle of a building. So if we take a line from, now as I say, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? I'm gonna make it a bit more of an angle so it's a bit steeper. So a line that goes to our point. Same again on this side, a line to our point. Let's make it a bit steeper. Okay, again, to our other point. So we're ending up with four lines, basically making the shape of a diamond. Now this is our first mark, all right? So don't panic too much if it isn't exactly like this, doesn't matter. If you think now, we can see things going off into the distance. So we could now simply add more lines, more lines to give us different levels of perspective, okay? So our building at the start is gonna be big and tall. It'll probably drop down. We might have a smaller building. We might have a building that sticks out. See what I mean? So we're gonna carry on drawing and go from here. I'm gonna put the lines in. You guys can copy it or you can do your own. It's up to you. see our center point, our points of perspective, where we're going to, our two dots at the end that we did first, remember? Straight line, two dots at the end. Every angle that we've done up to now goes to those points, right? Even, see these little bits just here, which make the side of the building? Even they, if I angle them, look, go from that building all the way to that point there, okay? all the way across there. So, like I've said before, don't worry too much about making a few mistakes. Doesn't matter, we're gonna turn it into an artwork. This is our basic setting out, so we can see. Now, if we think this, say it was London, New York, this would most likely here be a road, okay? This would probably be a road. So, if we think we're standing there looking, that road would either come down like this, and more buildings would be here, or it would come out this way, okay? All depending how you wanna look at your picture. Don't forget, it's your artwork, so you can do whatever you want. Carry on drawing, see where it goes. Next, I want to put in this bit of road, okay? So, here's our vanishing point, right? I want to make this building quite, here's the road. I'm going to make this building so it comes trial and error, guys, yeah? Already we can see, if I was to put a straight line there, yeah? then our building would be quite cool. But if I put an angle such as that, okay, and then we step back and have a look, right, we see that the perspective is slightly off. That's because ideally we want to work to this line, okay? So if I change and we go to there, about here, okay, and I draw that line in, right then we see it's a lot better now i'm going to quickly put these lines in so you can see how our perspective starts to work as a picture
Now we've reached a point where we've got all the lines down for our perspective drawing. Okay. When we think we're going to turn it into a painting in the next session, you're going to be using brushes, paint, um, all sorts of mixed media is going to go on. I'm really going to go to town on this and put a bit of everything. So I might do some collage. I might do some different lines, different textures. We'll see. We'll see what I can get my hands on to it. So now we've got our guidelines. It's simply a way that we've started a drawing for our painting to come onto. Okay. So all of our lines are there. So we've got our windows down the center building. We've got our disappearing points and we've got our streaks that definitely go off into the distance. outside my studio today. Horrible day. Anyway, so got myself a straight edge, little piece of wood that was knocking around the studio, okay? If you haven't got a ruler or whatever, you could use the side of a book. You could use anything that's basically got a flat edge to start with, right? It's not that important at this point. The important thing is to try and get your perspective to look how it should look, as if it's going off into the distance, right? So now, with my straight edge, I'm going to start putting windows in, I'm going to start putting detailing, and really building it up so it looks like a street scene. Now, I'm using this sort of pencil. So, it's a, it's a, it's not a pencil, it's a pen. Um, it's a drawing pen. It's got quite a fine nib on it. You can get different thicknesses. You could use a biro, simply a biro on paper. Do exactly the same sort of thing. There's nothing too specialist about any of the kit that I use. I wanna make it so you can have a go at all of this stuff with anything that you've got at home, basically. But if you see how now I've got my guiding lines, I can actually draw quite loosely following those lines to then start giving a bit of detail. So if you think this bit here is a gap between this building and this building. So that's kind of an alleyway. Okay, we're gonna have the same there. Look, so if I, if I wanna put the same alleyway in, I'm gonna take that mark over to my second point, remember? So it's about there. If I draw that line now, okay, we can see these alleyways starting to open up. So now, as I was saying, if I start to draw quite loosely with my pen, okay, we can start to see how it's gonna go from a very organized, perfect pencil drawing now into a more sketchy piece of art, okay? So we're using the simplest of things, simple guidelines, center point, two vanishing points, our pencil or our pen to add the detail on top. We're gonna to paint this soon. That will add even more depth. And then we could put little trees in. We can put, um, I don't know, things in the sky. We'll see, we'll develop that next. But for now, keep adding those details as much as you can. The more time you spend on this bit, the cooler it will look when you come to finish it off. You know, have a look, have a look out your window. No doubt, wherever you are, you're probably not gonna see the street of New York or London, you might see London if that's where you are, but no doubt there will be a row of buildings that will disappear off into the distance. If you have a look at those buildings, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Go and have a look. So again, you can see I'm getting a lot more sketchy with my pen, okay, to add in those details because, you know, windows are this shape, they are square edge, they are, but they, a lot of windows are rough around the edges and 
you know, grimy and dirty in the street. And I think putting a line in like this adds a style to it. It adds a sketchiness. It, it makes it more artistic. Okay. Now there's a lot of good perspective artists out there, which are well worth having a look at. So for homework, research artists that work in this way, that actually make their paintings disappear into the background. That's something that, um, that all artists should do all the time, is research art. That's definitely something you should be looking at. Okay, our drawing is getting to a point where we can add a lot more detail now and we can get a lot looser with how we're adding. So, these lines, remember, sketchy, that's what you want. Or, it's your painting, so that isn't what you want. You've got to do your own thing. This is the sort of thing I paint, so my work is very, um, very painted, a lot of detail. Um, if you look at my website, johnjoelliot.com, you'll see the sort of styles that I work in and the work that I make. And it is very different to this, okay? So that's very sketch, very straight edged. My style is very loose. Um, these paintings I'm working on at the minute are quite, there's a story behind them. I'm gonna hopefully exhibit them soon, but if I do, I'll let you come and see them. I've just been adding final details. Lots of line work, putting the windows in. Again, keep all of your downward lines nice and straight, okay? Keep all of your perspective lines on the same sort of angle. So you can see from this, I've put in um, buildings over the top. Again, the lines are continuing. There's a bit of shading where the buildings end, where they join into the actual picture itself. Okay, you can see the perspective going off into the distance. So, let me take this over there so you can have a look. So yeah, looking at it, we've got our two points still, okay, going off into the distance. We've got all of our windows in there now. We've got the road markings. I'm not sure about those. I've left two big areas blank. That building there and that building there. I've got an idea for that. I stuck a flag on the top. Okay. And so next, um, in the next video, I'll be colouring it. So I want to use colour, I want to use collage, I want to use a bit of everything on there, but that'll be in the next video. So that's our drawing for now.